Hey guys, this week's video is my YouTube Artist Collective piece. The theme this month was steampunk, and I absolutely love steampunk. I love the fashion, the colours, the mechanics behind it, the the overall idea of steampunk I think is great. Personally, I'm not really brave enough to go and wear it myself, but I, I, my, I take my hat off to everyone else that does want to wear it, because you are amazing and you should keep doing what you want to do. Don't let other people judge you. Let's just get that out there now. Um, anyway, back to the artwork. My idea for the piece was to do a bionic lady with a sort of mechanical arm and with big sort of cables coming out the back of her head. I also wanted to use this piece as a way to practice drawing anatomy again because I really wanted to start practice foreshortening again. I've started lacking in doing that. So I wanted to use this as a chance to push myself again and get back out there with it instead of just doing the same old, same old, like same positioning or like pose for the people or I seem to do a lot of just sort of bust shots at the minute. I know this one isn't a full body but it is a bit more than I normally do and I tend to avoid drawing hands whereas in this one I've had to draw two hands. So that was a challenge in itself but there we go. Uh, I also wanted to push myself and test see if I could manage to do backgrounds because again like I said in my collaboration video I don't really do a lot of backgrounds at the minute or I do really really simple ones like in my Luna video where I just did a black background really which is a little bit boring it's not it it's not challenging enough so I wanted to use this as a way to challenge myself when I was first sketching out the background, I originally was going to do a large clock face in the background with like cogs and gears showing the mechanics of the clock. But as I was drawing it out, it just it seemed to take the focus away from the bionicle lady. So I was just I decided to go away from that idea and instead I went with sort of like a worn striped wallpaper design which when you look at a lot of steampunk fashion they all wear well not all but a lot of like the skirts in particular have like this yellow ochre light tan and brown stripes and I wanted to take that colour and put that into the piece but I didn't want it on the lady so I thought I'd use that in the wallpaper because I knew when I was colouring the lady and I wanted her to be in like silvers and burgundies and black so I didn't want any more brown tones in there because it, it would just all kind of blend together and nothing would stand out against its, each other. So when colouring in the background I was using a mix of yellow ochres, a light brown, dark browns and green, grey cool greys and warm greys just to give it more of a grungy old look um, also while I was colouring the background I decided to colour over the cables because it just didn't the, it made the composition of the piece look a little too busy and I didn't like how it looked it was all just all on one side as well which I, I didn't they didn't work so I thought you know what I'm just gonna colour over these let it go into the wallpaper and then we'll go from there afterwards and I'm so glad that I did because the piece looks so much better now without those cables in there um, when I was colouring the lady in sadly part of my footage got corrupted so you don't see me colouring in the bust section but at least some of the other footage was there I guess and it wasn't most of the video which I was panicking about when it came up on my computer saying that it had corrupted. Uh, that wasn't a fun time. But I'm, overall I'm really happy with how the piece came out especially with the little changes I'd made after doing the sketch. And yeah, uh, when one more thing to say about the background. After I'd finished colouring in all of the wallpaper and stuff, I decided I'd draw some cogs on the background. Just, it didn't feel quite steampunky enough, but I didn't want anything too over the top. Just, I, obviously I didn't want to distract away from the main focus of the image. So I drew some little line art cogs in the background, and I think that really brought the whole thing together then. But, yeah. Um, 
if you want to see any other people's versions of this, or I guess the main people as well, version of the Artist Collective theme, then head on over to their Facebook page, and all of the links to their videos will be on there. And don't forget to check out what other people have posted on the page as well, because it's got a lot of artists on there that do some really great work, but they're not, we're, obviously we're not the official YouTube Artist Collective like Bailey and Jellybee and all those are. But there is still some great artwork to find in the what other people have posted section so don't forget to go over and check that out as well but anyway prints will be available on my Redbubble page as normal so I'll leave a link to the Facebook page and my Redbubble page and everything else all in the description below so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time bye